What's up, I'm Vin, and today I want to show how to do a McLaurin series expansion for various functions. And here are some definitions and formulas that'll help us out. For the first question, we want to find the McLaurin series for f of x equals e to the x, and this is probably one of the easiest functions to start with. So here's our formula, but what I want to do is I want to start with this formula, and I want to write the expanded form of this series here. So notice when we plug in n equals zero, the f n of zero here stands for the nth derivative at zero. So if I'm taking the zero derivative, that means I'm just starting with the function f of x. So I'm going to have f of zero here. And then we have x to the zero over zero factorial. But one thing to be mindful of, x to the zero is equal to one. And zero factorial is also equal to one. So that means we could just start off instead with just f of zero. And then when we plug in n equals one, we would have the first derivative at zero, which we could write f prime of zero times x to the first over one factorial and then we could go ahead and plug in n equals two, and the second derivative at zero, we could write as f double prime of zero, x to the second over two factorial, and then we could just keep this going here. We have the third derivative at zero times x to the third over three factorial, and we could just start uh, up to this amount here. We don't have to keep going because the pattern is gonna be obvious. Just know that if we wanted to, by the time you get to the fourth derivative is when you should start writing numbers because four prime symbols just looks a little bit sloppy, so. It's usually after the third derivative that we write numbers there. So now what we want to do is we're starting with we have f of x is equal to e to the x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find the first few derivatives. And this is the easiest function to start with because the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we could go out as far as we need to, but since in our formula we went out to the third derivative, we'll just go out to three places like this. So this is also equal to e to the x, but now because it's a Maclaurin series, a Maclaurin series is a power series centered at zero. And that tells us here that we're gonna plug in x equals zero. So we have e to the zero power, which is equal to one. And now notice for the rest of them, f prime of zero is also e to the zero is equal to one. And this is gonna be true for our second derivative. And it's also gonna be true for our third derivative. So now what we wanna do from this step, we'll just give ourselves some space is that we're gonna plug in the coefficients we just found into the next line. So f of x, we could name this now, is e to the x. So e to the x is equal to f of zero is equal to one. And then we have plus f prime of zero. So notice here, we're making the substitution for f of zero, f prime of zero, f double prime of zero, and f triple prime of zero. So we have plus one times x to the first over one factorial plus, and then f double prime of zero is one, so we have one times x squared over two factorial, plus f triple prime of zero is one, so we have one times x to the third over three factorial, and then this pattern would continue. So now all we'll do here before we write out our final series is simplify this a little bit, that this is equal to one plus x to the first plus x squared over two factorial plus x to the third over three factorial, and this pattern is gonna continue. So then the final thing that you should do here is once you simplify things a bit, what you wanna do is you wanna take this expanded form and write it as a condensed series. So we have e to the x equals, and I could write this series from n equals zero up to infinity. And the pattern to notice here is that we have x to the first, x to the second, x to the third. Technically, this can be considered x to the zero. So I'd have x to the n power, but then notice, whatever the power of x is, there's a matching factorial underneath it. So we have x to the two over two factorial, x to the three over three factorial. So I'll just write this as x to the n over n factorial. And now because this does not alternate, this is all plus the whole way, we don't need a negative one to the n or n plus one piece here. So this is gonna be the Maclaurin series for e to the x, what we have here. For the second question, now we wanna find the Maclaurin series for f of x equals cosine x. So this one also isn't that bad, but it's definitely a little bit trickier than e to the x. So my advice is still the same to start this. We wanna write the expanded form of our Maclaurin series here. So we would have f of x equals f of zero, and then we'd have plus f prime of zero, x to the first over one factorial. And then we'd have plus f double prime of zero, x to the second over two factorial. And then we'd have plus f triple prime of zero, x to the third over three factorial and so on. And the thing is, when you're doing a Maclaurin series, you how do we know how many terms to list? 
we keep listing terms until the pattern is obvious. So our original f of x is cosine x. So that's what we're going to start with here. We have f of x equals cosine x. So now we're just going to find the first few derivatives. f prime would be negative sine x. Then our next derivative would be negative cosine x. Our third derivative would be positive sine x. But then our fourth derivative would create a loop. It would bring us back to cosine x. So by the fourth derivative, the pattern should be obvious. And because this is a Maclaurin series, we're plugging in 0 to f of x and all of its derivatives after. So f of 0 is equal to 1 because cosine of 0 is 1. But then when we plug in 0 for sine over here, we have negative sine 0. That's going to equal 0. And then our second derivative at 0, we'd have negative cosine 0, which would be negative 1. Our third derivative at 0 would equal 0 because sine of 0 is 0. And then when we plug in 0 to our fourth derivative, this is going to bring us back to positive 1. So the pattern here is we have 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So that's the pattern that we're going to make use of when we plug into the formula for our Maclaurin series here. So I'll, write spa uh, I'll scroll down in a moment, but just so we could see the formula from the line above, that f of 0 is first. We have 1, and then we have plus f prime of 0 times x to the first over 1 factorial. Well, f prime of 0 is equal to 0. So we have 0 times x to the first over 1 factorial, and we'll just give ourselves some space. So we have over 1 factorial, and I need a little bit more space. So this is over 1 factorial. And then the next coefficient is negative 1. So we have minus 1 x to the second over 2 factorial. See, we're just plugging in for f double prime of 0 here. And then we have plus the third derivative at 0, which is 0, times x to the third over 3 factorial. And then the pattern, remember we said before, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. Then we have 1 x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And then we would have, after this, plus 0x to the fifth over 5 factorial. So once again, the pattern, we have 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. But now we're just going to say here, plus dot, 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 because we're going to write the simplified form of this. f of x, we could go ahead and replace now. Our original f of x was cosine x. So we have cosine x equals, and we have 1. This term is going to cancel out here, and we have minus x squared over 2 factorial. This term cancels out completely, and the next non-zero term we have is plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And then x to the fifth cancels out, but I think we can see the trend. We have 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial. So it goes 1 minus plus. The next one's going to be minus. And notice it's only even powers of x. So the next even power of x would be x to the six over 6 factorial, and this is going to continue on and on. So now this is the Sometimes the tricky part is going from the expanded form back to a condensed series. So for this one, we have to think really carefully. So a common mistake here is someone might just say, all right, why can't I just write x to the n power this time like we did for e to the x? Well, that would be because x to the n is not always going to be even. So we have to think about it. All the exponents are even. So we have to note here that 2 times n this is always even, as long as, obviously, like n is a whole number. Okay, so as long as n is a whole number, 2 times n is always even. So this time around, what we're going to have is we're going to have x to the 2n power. And then notice the factorial underneath the exponent matches. We have x squared over 2 factorial, x to the 4th over 4 factorial. So we're going to divide by a parentheses 2n factorial like this. And notice when we start at n equals 0, that gives us x to the 0 over 0 factorial, so it starts us off at 1. But the only extra thing you have to consider, because if you stop here, this is going to be wrong, is that we have an alternating series. So this series is an alternating series, which means that it needs something like a negative 1 to the n or a negative 1 to the n plus 1. So what we have to be mindful of here is which one are we going to go with is we have to note that this series starts off positive. So because it starts positive, we're going to have a negative 1 to the n power here because negative 1 to the 0 power, last thing to think about, negative 1 to the 0 power starts off as positive 1, which would match the first term here. So this is going to be our Maclaurin series for cosine x. 
So we'll look at one that's definitely more tricky than the others. So this time around, we have f of x equals natural log of 1 plus x. And once again, we're going to write the expanded form. So we have f of x is equal to f of 0 plus, and then we'd have f prime of 0, x to the first over 1 factorial. And then we have the second derivative at 0, x to the second over 2 factorial. And then we'd have the third derivative at 0 times x to the third over 3 factorial. And we don't know how, exactly how far we have to go out to see the pattern. But remember, we just have to go out until we actually do see a pattern. But let's say we're just going to stop here at x to the fourth. So this is going to go on and on forever, our infinite series here. So now we start with natural log of 1 plus x. That's our f of x. So we have natural log of 1 plus x. So now when we take the derivative, this part is a little bit more complicated than the other functions, but the derivative of natural log 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x. Technically, I could say I have to do the chain rule because I have something other than x, but the derivative of the inside is 1. So when we do times 1, it's not going to change the value of anything. So we could just leave this as is. But one thing I will do for the next step is I will rewrite this as 1 plus x to the negative first. That way, when we take the second derivative, all we have to do is the power rule. So now we do the power rule. Negative 1 comes down. So we have negative 1 times 1 plus x to the negative second. And once again, I could do the chain rule, but the derivative of the inside is 1. So we'll just leave it like this. And now we'll just take two more derivatives. So the third derivative, now the negative 2 comes down. And we're going to have negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2, 1 plus x to the negative third power. And now we have the fourth derivative, we multiply by negative 3, and we'll have negative 6, and then we have 1 plus x to the negative fourth. But now, because it's a Maclaurin series, we have to plug in 0 to all of these. So the first one's going to give us natural log of 1, which is equal to 0. And then when we plug in 0 to our first derivative, so we have f prime of 0, that's going to give us 1 to the negative first power, which is just equal to 1. And the pattern is not going to be obvious yet, but it will be once we plug in and start simplifying. When we plug in 0 to our second derivative, now we're going to have negative 1 times 1 to the negative 2, which is negative 1. And now for our third derivative at 0, I think you can see here when we plug in 0, we have 1 to some power, which is just 1. So the third derivative at 0 is just going to be 2. And then the fourth derivative at 0, we just look at the coefficient of 1 plus x is going to be negative 6. Because once again, we have negative 6 times 1 to the negative fourth once we plug in 0. So now from here, we're just going to plug this into the expanded form of a Maclaurin series. Now, f of x in this case is natural log of 1 plus x. So if we look in our formula here, f of x equals, we have f of 0. And f of 0, we found, was equal to 0. Plus, and then we have the first derivative at 0, which is 1 times x to the first over 1 factorial. And then the next thing we have is plus the second derivative at 0. So notice we're just plugging into the formula. We have the second derivative at 0 times x to the second over 2 factorial. So we're going to replace the second derivative at 0 with negative 1. So we have plus negative 1 times x to the second over 2 factorial. And then we have, after this, the third derivative at 0 gives us 2 times x to the third over 3 factorial like this. So this is going to continue. We'll do this once more. So for the last one, notice we have the fourth derivative at 0 times x to the fourth over 4 factorial. So we are replacing the fourth derivative at 0 with negative 6. And we have times x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And this is going to go on and on. So once we simplify this, a pattern should jump out at us. And once the pattern jumps out at us, we'll write this in summation form. So we have natural log of 1 plus x. This first term is gone. And then we have x. And the next term is going to be minus. We have x to the second over. And just know 2 factorial is equal to 2. Just remember, this is a side note here. We'll just put this as a thought bubble here. That 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1, which is equal to 2. So we have minus x squared over 2. And now our next term is plus. We have 2x to the third over 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And notice 2 over 2 cancels out. And then we'd have minus 6x to the 4. 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
and then plus dot 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 this goes on forever so if it's not obvious yet once we simplify things I think the pattern should jump out we have x minus x squared over 2 then we have plus x to the third over 3 and notice here 3 times 2 is equal to 6 so 6 and 3 times 2 could cancel out and we'll have minus x to the fourth over 4 and once again this is going to go on and on but if we look here and let's just give ourselves more space natural log of 1 plus x well, let's go ahead and condense this in a series now so we have natural log of 1 plus x equals and we have the series and I could start at n equals 0 but notice the first power of x is x to the first so why don't we start it like this and just know for these questions there's more than one correct answer you don't have to start necessarily at 0 you could start at 1 so what we have here now we have x and I'll give ourselves space because this is an alternating series so we have x to the n power but notice the power of x matches the denominator so we have x to the n over n but this series is alternating so I have negative 1 and something to be careful of this series starts off positive so if I say negative 1 to the n this is a little bit of a trap here because negative 1 if I start at n equals 1 to the first would be negative 1 but this thing starts off with a positive coefficient so I have to throw in a plus 1 in front of our exponent because this way if we think about it negative 1 to the n plus 1 if you start at n equals 1 that's going to give you negative 1 to the 1 plus 1 which is going to give you negative 1 squared which is positive 1 which would start us off positive as it should so this is going to be the Maclaurin series for natural log of 1 plus x so this last question here is just a bit of critical thinking we want to explain why there is no Maclaurin series for f of x equals x to the third well we could think about as we've been doing all these questions that the expanded form of our formula here is f of 0 plus f prime of 0 x to the first over 1 factorial plus f double prime of 0 x to the second over 2 factorial and this goes on and on but now if f of x is equal to x to the third let's see what problem we run into so when you take the derivative of x to the 1 third this is going to give you 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds which can be rewritten as 1 over 3 x to the positive 2 thirds but if I take another derivative although the first derivative is enough to answer this that would give me negative 2 ninths x and then when we subtract one here we're gonna to have to the negative 5 thirds so we're doing negative 2 thirds minus 1 which is negative 2 over 9 x to the positive 5 thirds like this so f of 0 if we plug in f of 0 is just equal to 0 however if we go to plug in 0 to our first derivative we would have division by 0 which would give us something undefined so I can't even say equals here I'm just gonna write this a little bit different I'm gonna say f prime of 0 is undefined and one thing to point out here is if you look at all these derivatives now you have x to a negative power so f double prime of 0 is also undefined so the pattern here is that all the derivatives at 0 are undefined so this will help us explain why there's no Maclaurin series for x to the 1 third and we could say because for all the derivatives of x to the 1 third at 0 the derivatives of x to the 1 third at 0 are undefined so there is no Maclaurin series so this is a good question here because it highlights the idea that not every function has a Maclaurin series expansion you have to make sure that all the derivatives are defined at 0 in order to find a Maclaurin series expansion okay well this is going to conclude this video on Maclaurin series expansions if this video was helpful please like and subscribe it really helps me grow the channel and if you got any requests just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comments section below and thanks for watching